This is Dr. Jitin Bendor for Physician Perspectives. Allow me to present a short presentation on Livestrong and Prosper. This paper titled Livestrong and Prosper, the importance of skeletal muscle for healthy aging was published in the journal Biogerontology. So what the authors are talking about is the improvement of healthcare, diet and infra infrastructure in developed countries rather and that has increased the life expectancy since 1840 by two years per decade. Now, according to the authors, by 2020, a quarter of Europe's population will be over 65 years of age, which represents a 10% rise in half a century. And with this rapid increase or rapid rise, comes an increased prevalence of diseases of aging and associated healthcare expenditure naturally. To address the health consequences of global aging, research in model systems has indicated that reducing the rate of organ growth via reductions in protein synthesis or protein synthetic rates has multi-organ health benefits that collectively lead to improvements in lifespan. However, in humans, in contrast, preclinical, clinical and large cohort prospective studies demonstrate that aging leads to anabolic impairments in skeletal muscle, which in turn leads to reductions in skeletal muscle mass and strength. And these directly are associated with mortality rates in the elderly. So we're talking about skeletal muscle mass and strength, which seems to be very important for at least in humans when compared to model uh, systems. So there is an increasing muscle protein synthesis need via exercise or protein based nutrition, which maintains a strong, healthy muscle mass, which in turn leads to improved health, independence and functionality. And that is, I think, one of the most important things about aging or healthy aging. We do see a loss of skeletal muscle size and quality during aging. So these graphs, A and B, represent the aging spectrum. When A shows that there is a reduction in the muscle, skeletal muscle cross-sectional area and B is a reduction in the type 2 type of skeletal muscle fiber. C, D and E are images of uh, MRI images rather. C is an image of a male 24 year old with a lot of muscle and this is the leg section, a lot of muscle with a little fi uh, fat around which is a white tissue that you can see. D and E are 66 year old males. D the difference between D and E is that D belongs to a person who has, who has been inactive, whereas E is a 66-year-old male who is, an act who is active. A stark difference between D and E is the, the uh, reduction in fat deposition in E in the male who has been active. So what this shows is that being active, as well as having protein, which is not shown in this image, is very, very central to aging in order to keep skeletal muscle up and running. The authors conclude saying that it seems clear that an active lifestyle supported by appropriate dietary protein is a key to maintaining strong healthy skeletal muscle. And in this context, the importance of skeletal muscle size and strength for longevity and health in humans puts a new spin on the Darwinian statement, survival of the fittest as it is clear that the strongest, fittest individuals are more likely to live longer with healthier lives. Thank you.